Friday, 17th of May, 2024. Tomorrow is the big day for the undisputed heavyweight fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. And uh, I've been following the build-ups, the weigh-ins, and uh, it's pretty good. Tyson's been quiet. He's been saying how good Usyk is. He's not been his usual self. He's been, he's been respectful and laid back, not give him any interviews. He's lost a load of weight. He looks amazing. He looks great. He looks like a different person. He looks very, very fit. Like he's He's been in some big fights where he's been like overweight, not looking fit, but still been fit. So there's a chance that he's going to be super fit. Who, who do I think is going to win? It's a tricky one to say for sure. It's not like, a, like one where you can say, obviously he's going to win, or obviously she's going to win. Because with Tyson, his last fight was such a bad fight, where obviously he was, un he was unprepared, obviously he hadn't taken the fight seriously. Nagano did take it seriously and came in in shape. And like they say, you could be a top, a top boxer and you go in the ring out of shape against a fit amateur, a fit, they're still going to you know, tire you out. You put a bit of energy, you get tired. In any walk of life, if you have a fight, like as a youngster, and you're out the weight and out the shape, you're not going to do well in the fight. The more fights you have as a youngster, the more fights you get involved with the fight, the better you get a fight. And even without going to a boxing ring. So he looked out the shape. He didn't look like he was, his timing was off. Well, he was still landing his punches, but um, a lot of his skill set was off. He's sluggish, he's slow, his speed was gone. So people now have commentated, I think he's gone. There's, there's some videos on YouTube where lots of experts and ex-boxers are saying, I think his legs may be gone. And there's clips going back and forth to them. I think his legs are gone because of this. And, well, I, I'm always, I've always thought legs going is a lot to do with your training. Not just how, not just how many hard fights you have, how many bad beatings you've had in your fights. How the shape you are, how, how well you're looking after yourself, how well you're eating, how, how, what is your lifestyle? Are you drinking? Are you, are you living a clean lifestyle? Are you getting to bed early? Are you, are you living a stress-free life. Everything can contribute to an athlete performance going down. Legs going is a, is a funny thing. Boxing, you know, it, you can see the legs go. They, they lose their speed. They, 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 they can't bounce around so much. And all I can say is by looking, the look of Tyson, he looks fitter than I've ever seen him look before. So, the consensus seems to be Yusuk is the better boxer, he's got the better skill set, he's going to run rings on Usyk in the ring and tire him out and he'll be throwing so many punches at him. You know, unless Tyson can knock the guy out and then if the judging is fair, Usyk has a better chance of winning because he's going to land more punches. That's what he's good at doing. That's his expertise. Now Tyson, I've seen him at his best. He can dodge. He's good at dodging punches. He's good at seeing punches coming to him. Now lots of experts are saying he's not going to be able to dodge you sex. He's not going to be able to see the punches coming. Well, that's what's going to make this fight interesting to watch. How will Tyson deal with it? Will he be able to deal with it? So a lot of unknowns here because we've never seen him in this condition. We've, I don't think we've ever seen Tyson 
as prepared and as fit for a fight before. The only thing is he has lost a lot of weight and his arms look skinnier as well. I'm hoping he hasn't lost a lot of power. I hope he, I hope he hasn't gone too much into the eating loads of vegetables. Where, you know, you, obviously I'm a carnivore and I know how important it is to have your meat. And this plant-based agenda where it's trying to make everyone think eating plant-based will make you the most healthy. No. The more meat you eat, the healthy. You'll have a little bit of edge on the side. That's good. That's good for anyone. So, if his power's still there, because he's, you know, I'm looking at his arms compared to what they used to be, he still might be just as strong. He could even be stronger. Because you don't have to be big, huge muscles to be strong. Strength, you can have, you can be stronger with skinnier arms than, than the bulky muscle arm block. So, that's interesting thing. And the other thing I want to talk about was John Fury. I've always liked listening to John Fury speaking. I've always liked his interviews. He's like a... He's a bit like a pantomime villain in a way, you know, these uh, things like throwing tables, punching the purse backs. It must be my sense of humour, but he makes me laugh. Like I'm watching press conferences and, you know, they, they, they mean you the same, the same old lines, the same old stuff. Uh, he does these different unexpected things what is going on and uh, sometimes I'm in hysterics at it so I must just have a weird sense of humour or something I don't take him seriously but um, you know there's a couple of things now but to me he's, he's stepping out the line and he's making me not not think so good of him, like, and which I don't want to do. I like the guy. I like sorry, I like listening to his stories of the past, his family history past, and stuff like that. And um, he's 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 offered to fight any man alive his age. No one, no man alive my age can beat me. Just Joe Egan appeared, and he's accepted the offer. And John Fury's back down. I have no reason why. I have no reason to know why. And not only that, he's, he's upsetting Joe Egan, no, no, Joe Egan or whatever his name is now. And, um, he, he thinks he's uh, disrespecting him by uh, the things he's saying about them. And uh, I don't understand it all really. He's offered some anyone out his age. The man's accepted, and I've listened to Joe Egan's. Uh, I've got a name wrong, I know. Podcast he's done, and um, what a story he's got! Moving to America, becoming training a uh, sparring partner for Mike Tyson, and the things that's happened in his life, owning the pub, and the oh. Crazy things that's happened and listen to the man and he's a, you can see he's a good person. He's got a very good heart, likeable, and he's me he made me laugh. Listen I love listening to him. He's great. I'm just disappointed. Like John Fury has disappointed me. It's as if I fell for what are you saying? Like, he's a pantomime villain, I should I shouldn't have took it serious, but I thought he would. Have accepted some fight like that because it would have, obviously he'd have been making a lot of money from it if it would have, if it was put on uh, a misfits fight night or something he could have made a lot of money for it so well here we are I didn't I didn't like that and the second thing obviously is this incident now where he's overstepped the line. He's crossed the line. He's overstepped the mark. He's done. He's done what you should never do. 
He's attacked, headbutted, one of six crew. And uh, not only that, like, he seemed to pick on the smallest, softest looking guy there. It's just like, oh, God. Like, hold on a minute now. You've gone into the verge of bullying here. Oh, you, you let me down so bad. Is your bully now? He should be, he should be so apologetic for what he's done there. Like, I don't find it amusing. The Fury family, uh, all sticking up for him type of thing. No, he shouldn't have done it. And that's my opinion anyway, that. But, um, I know, but doing things like that, he's going to make people think different of him. It's a stupid thing to do. He's got to control his temper. But he does. He, fair, fair enough to him, he does say that when people we disrespect his family, sometimes he can't control his temper. But uh, from all I was watching on the video, there's a whole load of Yusek. People saying Yusek, Yusek. And he just went on for the weediest looking bloke. You know, that's part of it. One crew ch chanting to the other crew and it's part, it's part of the thing. It's, it doesn't bloody take it into like violence. He, he needs to control his temper. But anyway, the other thing was the uh, Ryan Garcia fight. Turning up, four pound overweight. Not very good. You know, and then beating Haney pretty uh, convincingly, knocking him down at least four times. I think it was only three the referee counted. At least four knockdowns there. And um, well, he's, he's got the four pound weight advantage. But there's loads of experts saying, even if it was the same weight, he'd have won. And he probably would have, but might not have been so convincing. But then this um, drugs test failure, failing the drugs test. You know, he's, he's a bit out of it, Gus. You can see he's, he's the living high life. He's, he's obviously drinking and doing, he's admitting to smoking pot and stuff. But um, I've listened to him talk and he does have a good point. Why would he take drugs just a couple of days before the fight, knowing he's going to be drug tested. You know, you know when the fight you get you're gonna get drug tested day before and a couple of days after. So people have said that um when you lose a lot of weight, when you're trying to make the weight for a fight, that lots of toxins can come out. But um it just sounds like He's taken something unintentionally with that in. But no one knows for sure. And I can't know for sure. But if he's sorry for Haney, because he was four, four pounds heavier, and um, he's had found drugs in the system. So I'd feel just as uh, freaked out as Haney and try and get the fight overturned if I was him as well. Uh, what do you think about John? John Fury? Does anyone else think he's okay? Because uh, I know there's some boxing channels and they're ripping him to shreds and they call him scum of the earth. And everyone's got an opinion. And I, I don't mind listening to them videos of what they, they think of him. They don't like none of the Furies and they and all this. And fair enough. Your opinion? I'm not, I don't think anything bad of any YouTubers who have that type of opinion, but I've always found John Fury to be an interesting person to listen to. And uh, like I said, to me he's like a pantomime villain. Don't take what he says seriously. But, uh, you know, he's just like... 
Maybe I did believe a lot of what he used to say in the past, but I don't know more. Now, now he's just, to me, he is just all talk. He's, you know, he was a tough guy for his day, but, um, more, <laughs> more making me think, yeah, he might have been a bully in his day. And sometimes bullies can get older and they can think, oh, I shouldn't have been like that in my past and feel guilty for the way they are and they can change for the better. But what he did to that Ukrainian guy, skinny block, just let himself down. But do, so what do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know and I'll uh, try and reply and everything. Like and uh, share the video. Thanks a lot. Going on. Looking forward to the fight. And um, if I'm going to pick anyone to win, just for the look of him, I'm going to go for Fury. I think, personally, Fury will win as long as Usyk doesn't knock him down. If Usyk knocks Fury down, unlike these other boxers like Wild and stuff who haven't been able to finish the job, I think Usyk would be able to. I think if Usyk gets him wobbled, he could be, it could be over for him. But if he could stay out of the way of getting hurt, I think we may see the best Fury's ever fought. That's what I'm thinking could happen. Because he looks fit enough to be able to go the next three rounds where Usyk goes into another gear and nobody can keep up with him the last three rounds. I think Fury's aware of that and he's trained to a fitness level which he's never been at before. And I've watched so many documentaries about Fury when he was young and how he was a blowing the old guys away as a young kid. Not the old guys, the, the men. And that uh, people were saying he could be world champion one day. They, they, there was something special about him. Well, we've seen an out to shape Fury beating Wilder and in other fights. And we've seen him do quite well. We've seen him look good. Maybe this is the first time we've ever seen him in real good shape. And it might surprise us all. So it's, re it's a really interesting thing. Because most people say no sick. But I just got that feeling. We might be surprised how good Tyson might be. Shock everyone. So that's my little video about the fights. And the uh, John Fury incident. Going on. Catch you again. Bye.